Guys, so I'm making another late video. I keep making these late videos because I told myself months ago I was gonna make them and got busy working that I didn't make these videos. So anyway, so I'm back to like talk about these products. So back when the peach palette, like the whole relaunch of the peach palette, I ordered all of this stuff like way before it was released, like during the like preset or whatever it was like when I was like or the soft launch or whatever it was online and I got my stuff in and I you know what I never reviewed it so I'm here to review it today sorry I'm late if no one watches this I understand I understand that I'm like a year late my bad okay okay sue me I'm my bad so okay so let's get all of this stuff look Uh, drop it. Let's not drop it. So I have the palette, the blush and bronzer, no, blush, bronzer, highlighter, and the actual blush. And I also have the lip glosses over there. And I think, was there something else that I missed? I don't have all the lip glosses. I think I have the main portions of them. So I'm walking away because I'm setting everything back up. Oh, oh, drop it stuff. I know this lipstick is not a part of it. This lipstick is for a whole different video. But anyway, I keep getting distracted. So today I'm wearing the peach palette on my eyelids. On my eyelids, just a very subtle look. Because at my new job, I'm supposed to be very subtle and very elegant. So this is my very subtle, elegant look, you know, with the peach palette. And like, let me show you. The peach palette is fantastic. The blush smells great, looks pretty in the packaging, but there is not much pigmentation at all. Let me just show you. Let me just show you. Wiping off my brush on my makeup towel, which looks gross back there, so stop staring at my gross makeup towel. Let me move over here. So look, I'm gonna like swirl, 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 swirl. Lots of swirling. Let's go on the cheek, watch this. Oh, wow, there's hardly no color. Oh, wait, do you see any difference? Oh, you see a slight difference, a tiny bit difference. This blush, it barely, like, has any pigmentation to it whatsoever. Like, where's the color? Where's the color at? I don't know, I don't see it. Okay, I slightly see it, but it's not, like... It's not that great. It's not. It's not that great at all. Now let's talk about the highlighters and bronzers. Ready? Like the highlighter is very subtle. Very, very, very subtle. Fan brush time. Highlighter time. Let's let's get in there. Let's dig a whole bunch of product. Let's. Dig a whole bunch of product. Ready, ready, ready. Ready. Like, there's a subtle glow, but it's not like BAM. So this is a really nice highlighter if you like more of that natural look, but it's not like amazing. But it's nice. It's nice. I'm not saying it's terrible. It's nice. Nice. The bronzer is shade. The bronzer is darker is highlighter. Let's see, where's a nice pot? That is not dirty. Like that, I can't use it, so I'm not going to use it. I might use it as an eyeshadow, like a crease color or something like that. But I'm not going to be able to use it, and I'm sorry that, see, this this side is like not the same blush because I put on the other blush. But I'm about to put, try this blush, which is back at the same problem I had earlier. Let me clean my brush, clean my brush. I know, watch this. Watch this. Watch this. I'm gonna get in there. Get in there to get some product. You ready? What? What? Still the same thing. Not that much pigmentation. Not that much pigmentation at all. Like, if you do the brush test where you take it and swap, like, finger wise, it looks like it has a lot of color. But actually, on the brush on your face, there's not much pigmentation at all. So, but the eyeshadow palette, I think I did a swatch when the original eyeshadow palette came out. This was back before the re-relaunch and everything like that. 
Like, I love the eyeshadow palette. I use the eyeshadow palette. It's one of my most used eyeshadow palettes along with my Graveyard Girl palette, which I still use and I still love to this day. I love the Graveyard Girl collection. But this collection just isn't, isn't what I thought it would be. Wow, I'm out of focus. Oh, came back scary. All right, ready for some, ready for some lip glosses? Ready for some lip glosses. Wow, just messed up my foundation. And you know what? You're gonna deal with it because I don't feel like fixing it. So I'm just gonna show you one. I think I have like three of these. But this one is one of my favorite color. It's peach teas. You know, it smells like cough syrup. But what? It goes on splotchy. And not really even. I mean, even when I do that, it's kind of streaky. But it's a nice color. It smells, I hate the smell, smell. It doesn't even smell like peaches. To me, it smells like cough syrup. It smells like straight up cough syrup. Taste is. Okay, sorry. Over did it. But anyway. The taste is okay, it's sweet, but like, I honestly, if you're going to get anything out of the collection, I honestly would say just get the palette. The eyeshadow palette is nice, it smells like peaches, it's edible, like it tastes like peaches, so, like I just said, it's edible, it tastes like peaches, so, if you ever want to test, taste out your, test out your eyeshadow's edibility, I would say try, if you're stranded on an island, eat your peach palette, and maybe your chocolate bar palette, but... Okay, I'm telling you this. Please don't eat your eyeshadow palettes. You don't know what type of chemicals are in there. You might die. Do you want to die? I don't know if you want to die. I don't want to die. So let's not eat our eyeshadow palettes. Unless we're stranded on an island and have to eat our eyeshadow palettes. Let's not, okay? All right, guys. I love you. I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye.